including us. He'll be playing live in a moment, but first, let's meet the man himself. Walter, how are you doing? Hi, Sonia. How are you doing? I'm okay. Good of you to come on the show. It's good to have me here. Thanks. Just been admiring the album cover here. Is this a real wall, then? That is a real wall. It's in Huntington Beach, California, mm -hmm. about three blocks from my house. And um, when we were doing the album, and I was going to call it Breaking the Rules, I would be walking down along the beach every couple of days. And here's the sand. Right. There's the wall. And I would see this thing that says, No Painting, and then these graffiti paintings that had been done by people at like four o'clock in the morning when the police weren't around mm -hmm. and i thought there's breaking the rules ready-made album cover and there it is right and here are the guys standing like true rock idols in front of it <laughs> well, there you go. well we haven't been accused of that before but thank you it's coming it's coming yeah. <laughs> what made you decide though, to break out and form your own band um, it had always been a dream of mine. I had been a sideman with John Mayall, and I had been in Canned Heat, and mm -hmm. I played with John Lee Hooker and various kind of blues acts. But all those years, it had been my dream to write my own songs and have my own band. And finally, it was just, it was time. Mm -hmm. So you find yourself, what, a bit constrained by the fact that, okay, you like the music you were playing in other people's bands, but it wasn't what you really wanted? Um, yeah, and I always had written songs, and I had always um, sang, and, you know, it, it was very easy and secure for me to kind of go from one band to the other as a lead guitarist, but I always found that, that musically there was kind of something more I wanted to do, mm -hmm. you know, so I would come home from those tours, and I would go down to the local bar and jam with my friends and think to myself, now I'm really getting to play, you know. So finally that, that little group of friends that I used to jam with became the Walter Trout Band. Uh -huh. And Martin, you're one of the friends. Yeah, I'm one of the later editions. <laughs> a later friend. A later friend. So how did you get to be part of the team then? From when? Um, I knew Walter actually from before he's, he formed his own band. And uh, we just, uh, I went to the club where he played in Huntington Beach uh, twice a year jammed with him and eventually ended up in the band. Mm -hmm. You know, he gave me a call one day and said, hey, uh, we need another keyboard player. Are you interested? And said, yeah. So we got together. So had you been in another band before, one of your own maybe, or what? Just I've listening? done some stuff in California before. I've done another couple of big bands before, and I toured Europe with that. Mm -hmm. um, you can say who. Okay, Lita Ford, Wolf for One, and yeah. Meatloaf as oh, another right. one, yeah. So. Uh, um, yeah, and then I met him, and it was a matter of time that we were going to get together. So what's it mm -hmm. like sort of being on the road together at the moment? I mean, you, you're playing just about every day this month and the next, aren't you? I mean, what's, it, what's it like on the road? What's the reaction been so far? The reaction is great. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I actually, I'm lucky in that I love being on the road. I love touring and playing for people. There's some musicians who get out on the road, and it, it drives them crazy, the, the lifestyle, mm -hmm. you know, but I really enjoy it. And um, I mean, I, I stand up there and I think this is what I wanted to do all my life. Have my band play for people, um, have them enjoy the music. So it's, um, you know, I can really think back to um, 25 years ago playing in a donut shop for free donuts. <laughs> so it's, this is like I'm getting to live my dream, you know, so uh -huh. it's great. Just one quick question. I mean, being having played with so many other people and now with your own band as well, when it comes to writing and stuff, I suppose you always have to be very careful about plagiarism. Do you never think when you know, you're writing or recording, oh, that sounds a bit like someone else's song from somewhere else I played? Yeah, I do sometimes. And um, every once in a while, you know, it's enough to drive you crazy. You, you start to write a song and you'll think, well, that sounds a little bit like this or like that. And after a while, you have to realize that um, in this kind of music, there's not really um, all that much kind of new chord progressions mm -hmm. or things you're going to come up with. You have to, to write from your heart, and you have to try to put your own stamp on what you're doing, you know, and, yeah. and, and make it your own statement. And then it's, it's, it's your music then. Right. Well, you're yeah. certainly making your own statement at the moment. So you're on tour. At the moment, you will be throughout the rest of this month and some of next month. Yeah, we'll be, um, we have 17 shows coming up in the UK. 
<laughs> um, without a day off, but that's okay. <laughs> we're it's, musicians. It's what we live for. <laughs> and uh, then we're going to be in um, Holland and Germany mm -hmm. um, and Belgium and Switzerland and a couple other places that I can't remember. Right. Den Denmark, <laughs> Is it Tuesday? Uh, it's Rotterdam. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And, yeah. Um, then we'll be home um, in the middle of July, right. take a couple weeks off, and then play in L.A. And, and actually be back in Europe again in September. All right. Well, we look forward to seeing you again then. Okay. Best of luck with all. Take it easy. Pace yourself. Okay. <laughs> You've got a long way to go still. <laughs> Thanks very much indeed. Thanks for having <laughs> us, Sonia. While Walter gets ready to play for us, I can tell you that his UK tour starts Tuesday at Salisbury Arts Centre and it ends on the 29th at London's Astoria. He'll be at a venue near you, somewhere in between, so watch the bridge or check your local press for details. It's worth it. But to keep you happy for now, here he is on stage. grace us with their presence as electronic but they will be doing an acoustic performance but before we get ahead of ourselves it's time for another tune in this week's show and it comes from Walter Trout who's been playing the same guitar for 20 years 
The challenge has finally started to get recognition in Europe in the last five years or so. Sitting somewhere between Rory Gallagher and Stevie Ray Vaughan, he may be the man to fill the void left by their debts. Anyway, before things get a little too morbid, this is Walter and his band with How Much Do You Want? See you next week.
but Walter Trout is here now. A bit of a cult guitar rocker is Walter. He's got a seriously dedicated fan club here in the UK and across Europe. He can count Whispering Bob Harris and our very own Tommy Vance as two of his biggest fans, and he's always gigging somewhere to a packed house. So if you like your guitars rockin', then look no further. This is Walter Trout. Back. Whatever else you do, 